Have you ever been at a restaurant trying to read the menu and the print just seems smaller than it used to be? You hold it out at arm's length, maybe you tilt it toward the light, maybe you even hand it to your partner and say, can you read this for me? Or you're at the grocery store squinting at the nutrition label, wishing you had a magnifying glass. That's the reality of presbyopia, age-related near vision loss. And it's something I hear about from my patients every single day, and it's something I experience as a 49-year-old. It is not the same thing as farsightedness. And now there's actually a brand new option that's got people talking, Viz Eye Drops. The idea is simple. You put in a drop and within minutes, you can read up close without your reading glasses. It's reversible, it's non-invasive, and it lasts for hours. But is this the breakthrough we've been waiting for? Or is it more hype than help? Today, I'm breaking it all down. How this works, how it's different from other drops, and what the science tells us so far. Side effects and who's the best candidate for it. Stick around if you want to find out. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist and managing partner of Honolulu Eye Clinic for the past 17 years. I've been treating patients' eyes for almost a little over two decades and presbyopia, it's one of the few eye conditions I can guarantee every single person will eventually get if they live long enough. So let's start with the basics. Presbyopia usually starts creeping in sometime around the age of 40. Inside your eye, you have a clear lens, kind of like the lens in a camera. When you're younger, that lens is soft and flexible. The tiny ciliary muscles in your eye can easily change its shape so you can focus up close and then relax so you can see far away. But as we age, the lens gradually hardens and loses elasticity. The muscles are still trying to work, but it's like pushing on a brick instead of a marshmallow. Nothing's changing. That's why you can't focus up close the way you used to. Worldwide, presbyopia affects close to 2 billion people, and while it's not dangerous, it can be incredibly frustrating. Think about it, reading your phone, sewing, applying makeup, working on a hobby, seeing the fine printer instructions. All of a sudden, you need to have a workaround for these things. And traditionally, it's meant reading glasses or just really expanding your font size super large on your phone like I do with three words per line, or you could do bifocals or multifocal contact lenses or even surgical lens replacements. All of these work, but they have downsides. Glasses can be inconvenient, cost contacts can cause dryness or discomfort, and surgery is permanent and it does carry risk. Now we have this, Acyclidine Ophthalmic Solution, 1.44%. It was recently approved by the FDA. It should be hitting the market soon. It's the first acyclidine-based drop for presbyopia. You put in the drops and within minutes, your near vision improves for several hours. When it wears off, your vision returns to baseline. For a lot of people, that's appealing. You use it when you want and you're not locked into it all day. So how does it work? Acyclidine is a muscarinic receptor agonist. That's a fancy way of saying it activates certain receptors on the muscles in your eye, specifically the iris sphincter muscle. This is the muscle that controls the size of your pupil. When acyclidine stimulates it, your pupil constricts. Why does that help? Because of something called the pinhole effect. You remember the little pinholes we give you at the eye doctor's office to improve your vision? Basically what that's doing is if you make the opening your eye looks through smaller, you block out more of the peripheral light rays would normally blur the image. You're then left with sharper focus both near and far, at least in the bright light. So think about using the smallest aperture on a camera to get more of the scene and focus. That's exactly what's happening in your eye. Now here's where acyclidine is different from other presbyopia drops you might have heard of. Pilocarpine. Pilocarpine also makes the pupil smaller, but it strongly stimulates the ciliary muscle, and that can cause side effects like brow weight, accommodative spasm, and even a temporary myopic shift, nearsightedness, meaning your distance vision could blur. Acyclidine is much gentler on the ciliary muscles, so you could still get the pupil constriction, but with less of those uncomfortable muscle-related side effects. So what does the data say? There isn't a large published phase three clinical trial for viz in presbyopia yet, but we have excellent data from a similar drop, pilocarpine 1.25% in the Gemini 1 trial. This is what's sold as Vuity. So basically with Vuity, at three hours after putting in the drop, about 31% of people could see three lines better on a near vision eye chart compared to only 8% with placebo. Three lines actually a big deal. That could be the difference between needing reading glasses for your phone and being able to read comfortably without them and without having to expand that font size. Six hours later, nearly 18% still had that same improvement. And people started noticing a difference 
foods as soon as 15 minutes after putting the drop in. So for some, it lasted up to 10 hours. And more importantly, nobody who gained near vision lost meaningful distance vision in bright light. So for acyclamine specifically, there have been smaller studies in other situations, like helping patients who had glare and halos after LASIK. Those studies showed that the drop kicked in similarly within 15 minutes, lasted about five hours, and made the pupil about two and a half millimeters smaller. The side effects were minimal, mostly mild redness. So let's talk about the side effects. With any myotic drop, meaning a drop that makes the pupil smaller, the common side effects are a mild headache, burning or stinging sensation when you put it in, redness, and sometimes blurred or dim vision in low light. That last one is important because if your pupil stays small, you're letting less light in. That's fine and bright light, but it can make night driving or seeing in a dim restaurant much more difficult. And there's also a rare but serious risk of retinal detachment. This is why I always recommend a baseline retinal exam before starting, especially if you have a history of retinal tears, lattice degeneration, or high myopia. I would not recommend either of these drops for you. You also need to know the symptoms, sudden flashing lights, new floaters, or a shadow in your vision, and get immediate care if those occur. The good news is that acyclase's lower stimulation of the ciliary muscle means that fewer complaints of brow ache, or that eye strain feeling that some people get with pilocarpine. That can make it better tolerated for regular use. So how would you actually use this? The facial dosing hasn't been widely published yet, but based on similar eye drops, I expect it would be one drop in each eye once a day with the option for a second drop after three to six hours if you need more time. You'll wanna see how it affects your vision before doing activities that require sharp night vision. So who might be a good candidate? Someone with healthy eyes, mild to moderate presbyopia, meaning like 40 to 60 year old range, who doesn't mind a temporary solution and doesn't depend heavily on perfect night vision. Who should avoid it? People with a history of retinal detachment, certain inflammatory eye conditions, or those whose work depends on excellent low light vision, like pilots or night drivers. So here's the bottom line. This is an exciting new tool in our presbyopia toolbox. It's quick, it's reversible, and it avoids some of the muscle-related side effects of older drops. But it's temporary, and it might affect your night vision, and we really don't know yet about its long-term safety profile. So if you're curious about it, talk to your eye doctor, get that baseline retinal exam, and weigh the pros and cons based on your needs. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit the subscribe for more eye health updates. Let me know in the comments, would you try a drop like this to ditch your reading glasses for a night out? Have you tried the competitor ViewED? This one's gonna come out in a couple months. I'm eager to see where it's gonna land and what people think of it. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.